ஹாய் எவ்ரிபடி வெல்கம் பேக் ஹோப் யூ ஆல் சப்ஸ்கிரைபட் அவர் சேனல் ஜிம்மிஸ் கிரியேட்டிவ் இங்கிலீஷ் பிளாக் If not, please do subscribe our channel. Don't forget to press the bell icon and enable all. I also welcome your like, share and valuable comments. Can is a modal auxiliary verb. It is one of the most used modal verb in English. A modal auxiliary verb, often simply called a modal verb or even just a modal, is used to change the meaning of other verb commonly known as main verb. All modal auxiliary verbs are followed by a main verb in its base form. We will discuss all the different situations where we use the modal verb can. Can is used to express ability or power. Permission Request Possibility Surprise Happening Offer Inability and Refusal Let us get into the usages of can in detail. Not one. Can denote ability or power. Can is used to express that one has the ability or power to do something. For example, I can write in three languages. The chief minister can decide this. The police can arrest them. Not two. Can denote permission. Can is used to tell or ask someone to do something. For example, You can park your car over there. You can participate at the meeting. You can go there. Not three. Can denote request. Can is used to request someone to do something. For example, can you talk later slowly? Can you guide me to this address? Can you tell him the news? Not four. Can denote possibility. Can is used for saying what is possible. For example, it can be true. You can get all things under one roof. Mosquitoes can cause malaria. Not five. Can denote surprise. Can is used to express how surprised or shocked you are, usually in negatives and questions. For example, how can you open this box? How can it happen? How can you speak like this? Not six. Can denote happening. Can is used for saying that some things sometimes happen. For example, temperature can reach extremes in summer season. A minor head injury can be dangerous. Not seven. Can denote offer. Can is used in polite offers of help. For example, can I recommend him? Can I drop you in your house? Can I help you in your work? Not eight. Can denote inability. Can is used to express one's inability to do something. For example, he cannot move his leg. The manager cannot go there. She cannot get promotion. Not nine. Can denote refusal. Can is used to express one's unwillingness to do something. For example, I cannot accept her. We cannot allow you. I cannot take part at the discussion. We have learned the usages of can. Today's session we will wind up. We will be back with our next video. Please do subscribe our channel Jimmy's Creative English Vlog. Don't forget to press the bell icon and enable all. I also welcome your like, share and valuable comments. I really do appreciate your love and support. Thank you for watching. Have a beautiful day ahead. See you on the next video.